Yo, what is going on guys? It's your boy Mookman and today I want to show you guys my gameplay of me finishing off the LMG medal for this week's challenges and right here I was just staying in this building. We're playing some operations. This game's getting pretty intense. We're running on uh, one objective here and we're holding it hard. We got a ton of people around here, but as a support, you want to be a good support. You want to throw down ammo, and as you can see right here, I throw down one ammo crate, and within seconds, I've already gotten 80 points. Throwing down ammo crates is extremely beneficial to your team. It keeps people well supplied, and it's also beneficial to you as it supplies you with more points and more XP. So throw down ammo crate. If they stand next to the crate for a couple of seconds, just a few, then they can even get grenades and gadget ammo as well. So that's very useful, and... I've literally made like 150 points from just standing there throwing down an ammo crate for all these guys around me And as you can see there's a ton of people swarming this objective I'm trying to pick out which one I can shoot and kill because I'm trying to get 20 kills with LMGs in this uh, specific gameplay video, but the LMG metal challenge had you go first for 20 LMG kills and that's why I'm showing you this gameplay first, but after that you had to get five headshots and after that you had to get five kills in one life with LMGs specifically and first is the kills so I wanted to show you guys my gameplay for getting the kills first and it wasn't hard at all you honestly just have to spawn in with an LMG and basically just play like you normally would and there's no real grind about it you just you just throw on support class jump into a game and start killing people with your best gun and in this gameplay I was using specifically the bar M1918 trench which I like despite its low clip size it only has 20 shots in a clip but I feel like its stability its accuracy all that business I think that it outweighs the negative side of it having a low clip size I think it's a really good gun and I have a sweet cam on it, it's gold, it's called the Doughboy or whatever, I really like it, it looks awesome, and the, I prefer the AA sights when I'm using an LMG as well, I'm not entirely sure why, but almost every single gun I feel like I'm more accurate when I put on the trench sight, but I just recently got the Bar M1918 telescopic which has a nice sight on it, it's got uh, a bipod, so you can sh kill people from pretty decent distances away. And right there I got my bar M1918 service star. And I finally completed the 20 kills. It didn't take too long. I think it only took me one game. But right there, as you can see, at the end of that game I was 30 and 12. Which was a pretty good game. A decent KD. A lot of points. Not too many points, actually. But I, I had a decent amount of points. But... This is more gameplay prior to that where I was trying to get more LMG kills and as you can see I only have 5 LMG kills at this point but everybody was charging for C so I figured why not defend C and just stand here and get easy kills because literally everybody was just charging in there and rushing across this open area like this guy who makes for an easy victim for me or one of my teammates and it doesn't really matter to me who gets the kill as long as he goes down you know but I'm sneaking up on people getting so easy kills and right here I start going off. I just started shredding people like crazy. And there's me in the background swearing because I'm impressed with my gameplay. I don't know how many kills I got in this life but I was pretty happy with it. It definitely got the job done. And right here I'm trying for headshots with the bar M1918 telescopic and right there I get my first one. And it was pretty early into me buying this gun. I just bought it in this game, but I wanted to try it out because I figured it'd be more accurate and easier for me to get headshots with it. I snuck up on that guy, but I knew I was going to get my kills to one if I didn't act quickly. So I didn't really take the time to finish him with a headshot. And right there, I mowed two guys down, standing right in front of another and getting two easy kills. My teammates were distracting them, and I was just able to hop in there, you know, get two kills. I killed that guy with the bipod, and as you can see, when you throw that bipod up, it doesn't kick at all. Unfortunately, right there, I didn't have it down, or I probably would have killed that guy. But I decided to run up and sneak up behind him, and 
didn't get a headshot. I could have easily got a headshot if I had thought about it at the moment. But I was on a nice kill streak and I didn't want it to end. And finished it off with an M1911 kill. And then I died. For the last portion of this, you have to get a kill streak of five with all LMG kills. And it was a close range map, so I decided to go with the Madsen MG Storm. And I wanted to pick off the last sniper there because he was low health. And unfortunately, he ducked down. This guy gets picked off. And I'm stuck on this guy, but I ran out of ammo. And luckily, one of my squad mates finished him off, and I got a squad assist counts as kill with an LMG. And I have 11 health, so I got really worried. I wasn't really trying too hard. I wasn't expecting to get this kill streak right here. But in this trench, everybody was just looking right over top of me. It must have been the shadow or something. But I'm just laying there and instantly got four kills within like a split second. And I finished off the medal. And it leveled me up right there. So as you can see, it's definitely beneficial to your XP. And it helps you out to level up a lot. So do your metal challenges and do them in order from first to last and you will complete them easily and get a lot of good XP. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video and if you did, drop a like, leave a comment, let me know what you guys think and subscribe. But for now, Luke Man out.